Shugabuggas, welcome back to the channel for a brand new CC shopping haul. You guys, your girl seriously needs to stay off the Tumblr because every time I just look for one thing, I literally walk out with an entire freaking truck full of CC that I quite frankly do actually need. So the goal of this haul this time was to actually focus on skin details, things that will kind of make my Sims a little more defined character wise. So you're going to see a lot of that. I'm actually going to try to breeze through this a little bit quicker than usual because I could literally film this for an hour. Um, I like to gab like a lot. So <laughs> we're going to just go through the things that don't really need explaining such as like the hairs and the clothing. And if I feel like I need to explain something to you, I totally freaking will. So where should we start off first? I feel like we should probably start off with the face because that is where I'm going to do a lot of explaining. So skin details. I am so particular with my certain skin set. Like I have an exact uh, nose preset thing that I use. I have like my very own um, skin that I always gravitate towards. I didn't create it, but you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, it's mine in my head. You know what I mean? Um, and I wanted to try something a little bit different. So I went ahead and played around with a bunch of different skin tones and details. I really like these skin overlays. I think they are very prominent and they just create depth and dimension in a way that the other skins that I use didn't. Um, but this one over here is actually my favorite because it's kind of that perfect sweet spot between the skin that I currently use and, you know, trying something different. So um, this one here actually has a couple different variations with some subtle freckles, which is really freaking cool. We also have these these skin overlays here and they're in different slots too so if there's something that you really like to use and you know you want to be able to use the skin overlay you can because it's not going to interfere they're going to be completely in their own lane and nobody is going to be having any sort of collision so those are the uh, primary like skins that I ended up going with. I really like those too. I also downloaded a few freckles. I love these. This is them in comparison to EA's freckles. I went ahead and grabbed this bronzer. It's kind of like a contour kit actually and I really like this one. It's by Catverse. In fact, this is my favorite swatch by far. I love what it does to the face. What I don't love is the pixelating around the brows and the fact that you have to be wearing a particular hair. Otherwise, it's going to really have a very noticeable shadow which isn't quite flattering so there's that I love these freckles too but the only thing is is I wish that they were more like skin spectrum friendly I feel like they kind of are more geared towards a specific skin tone and I would really like to use them on my more dark complected sims so I also picked up a cleft lip detail this is something that a lot of people have and what I love about this set in particular is it is a beautiful all the way through completely consistent whether it's the dark swatch or the light swatch everything in this freaking palette is perfect even the colors in between so i grabbed this contour kit again in conjunction with the one by catverse and i was like please don't lie to me like i feel like i'm being a catfish right now and i'm not sure how i feel because the way that this chick has her thumbnails it is so high quality i literally feel like i'm looking at a vogue magazine and so when i got this in my game y'all i was not disappointed the contour on this ish is legit like a beauty guru did it herself like sister freaking Slay James Charles Bish who huh. anyways long story short love that highly recommend and then what else do I have for you I think I also picked up um the nose details by Catverse which I also really liked too um I do have the opposite side so this is like the right this is the left of the cleft lip also grabbed these handy dandy um like highlighting details so like okay no, just just pay attention real quick there's a lot going on so right here it kind of illuminates like her nose which is really pretty um, and then it adds on to like different combinations so we've got like inner corner um, we have like I think above the lip there and then the nose like there's just so many different variations that this does and it's so subtle to where it's going to show up in post editing 
and it's also going to look very natural in game like the light is just hitting her face or his face just right so i really like those and then they're also available in the makeup category too so if you didn't want to like attach them um to your sims via skin details we also have this skin blush oh my god okay i've been looking for one for a half freaking minute y'all what this does is it basically just adds more dimension to your sims so you can't really see it right now but what it does is it actually adds blush to the face which you would expect um and then it adds it into the elbows if you guys can see that and her little kneecaps so i really like this again just for creating a little extra dimension um that type of a thing those can come in handy so i have the freckles in the tattoo category i actually did um download quite a few tattoos again something i just don't normally play with a lot which is kind of stupid because like tattoos are really amazing and i feel like they can really add character to a sim so i've got these and they show up in different various places which is quite nice and then i also have this one too which is little music symbols and i love how like different they are it's hard to like show tattoos because they pop up in all of these random places i don't know where the hell i'm looking for for them, but basically you get the point uh, those are really cute too and I think I am fresh out of tattoos I don't think I have any uh, any other ones to share with you so let me go really quick and move on in to the hairstyle so we've got a lot going on some of these are you know just ones that are different variations of things I already have and then others are completely different and just new to my game personally and I really like this one um, um, because a lot of these hairstyles can look kind of weird on females like you can tell that they're geared towards a more you know male physique or more masculine physique but i think these look amazing i love short hair on females <gasps> Woo! like this one here is everything um so i downloaded a bunch of those this was the hair you saw earlier and normally long hairstyles not my bag sim mandy is seriously such a freaking hair genius if you guys are looking for some really cool long hairstyles or just hairstyles in general i highly suggest you check her out the way that she has like her shadows the length even like the the texture itself it's really beautiful and it looks like to me honestly ea created this hair like if you would have said ea put this in i wouldn't even question you so here are a couple other hairstyles finally got some more um textured hairstyles so like i've got some really nice dreads i've also got more of these like curlier hair textures which are really beautiful i feel like i just don't ever have enough of these and it sucks but i've got some braids um these are also really cool because they come in a bunch of different variations these are my savvy sweet i love these knots now the only thing that i'm noticing is i probably need something right here um because it's just i don't i don't i don't think this is how it's supposed to look um but i need more um, detail in between the knots there and I feel like I need the same thing for along the edges of the braids like some some baby hairs so if you guys have any that you'd like to share with me let me know in the comments down below but here's another hair too that I also really love I know Ocean was gagged over this hair like she was so excited and oh my god it is really pretty like once you get into the lighter swatches it's super gorgeous it's hard to tell with the darker ones but yeah you guys can kind of see the uh, the details there a little bit better and then I also grabbed some more dreaded hairstyles I love these especially this one here like I could see a really fine fine young man wearing this hairstyle here and whoo, 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 especially like with the bangs and stuff I love I love dreads I think they're absolutely stunning so yeah played around with a bunch of different types of hairstyles this one is fresh off the freaking press by Savvy Sweet also I do believe there are um, some ombre accessories for this hair which is really cool I wasn't expecting them to work this way uh, it's kind of like a reverse ombre in a way like you add the lighter color and then this the, like if you wanted your roots to be darker hold on I, I, you go with you go with the black palette and then you could do okay all right so that's how that works okay cool so yeah you have a little accessory to kind of change it up a little bit here's another dried hairstyle and last but not least we have probably my favorite hair out of everything this hairstyle here was formulated off of an alpha hairstyle look at that detail super crazy love the way that it looks maxis maxified i'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of this and this is kind of what it looks like in a lighter color palette so a lot of fun great things if you guys are wondering where these items are going to be they're going to be available on my tumblr so right after this video literally when you see this video hit your 
screen, you need to turn off your notifications because I will annoy you with 124 items for at least a solid 15 minutes because I'm slow as hell. So I'm just letting you know now, you've been warned. You're going to hear ding, 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 ding. I don't know what it does because I've turned mine off, but I'm, I, I assure you it probably isn't pleasant because every time... I do these videos, y'all let me know that I am blowing up your freaking notifications. So again, with more character defining items comes piercings. These are gorgeous, I love the shine on them. I also went ahead and grabbed a little septum piercing. We have the nose uh, nose rings I just normally gravitate towards. I guess these have been updated um, too, so they don't conflict with the Kajiko lashes. And here are some more of those really beautiful praline sim lip piercings. I also snagged a couple earrings. These are cute because they're just little studs and I feel like they're just so freaking gorgeous. Like I would wear these okay they are beautiful i love how they come in like rose gold silver black the whole nine i also downloaded some plugs in various shapes and sizes earplugs yes have to clarify <laughs> um and i think that's about all for the accessories uh makeup wise i oh yeah okay i was about to say nothing really but yeah um i grabbed these uh what is this called wrinkle set detail thing so i can actually add somewhat aging into my sims when I wear or when I have them use particular skins it just washes them out and you can't really like define their age because there's no sign of aging period um yeah so I think that's about it there for outfits I basically just went with a whole bunch of stuff that kind of stood out to me we got jumpsuits we've got bathing suits we've got more of these uh cargo looking things that are really freaking cool different lengths as well the fun things about these are that they actually come as a top i believe so maybe if you wanted to go ahead and like pair them with some leggings or maybe some jeans you could do that this is probably one of my favorite jumpsuits ever like, look at the little slit up the side. And Julie Bean, my newfound friend. I think I've definitely downloaded a lot of stuff from her in the past. But uh, this dress, peep this, y'all. Peep this dress. It's unique. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. And the texture, it's like shiny and satin. It's super pretty. Also really love this little sweater dress because it's perfect for winter or like colder days. Things like that. Um, if you're looking for something a little more Instagram-y, a little more trendy, definitely check out these jumpsuits. They have like a little Gucci logo in Simlish, which is also really cool. I think these are super just, you know, easy. No fuss, no bust. You slap them on your Sims. Your Sim looks like a freaking fashion icon. Also, there's one that comes with a blazer. Super upscale. I'm pretty sure in the description she mentioned something about a sugar daddy. I, I don't know. You have to go check it out. It was really funny. Anyway, here are some more of the pre-made outfits. And then this one that she was wearing earlier that I really loved a lot because I think it's perfect for jamming around, literally like jam jams, or just like lounging around even if you wanted to. I just, I think I need more of this type of stuff because it is so usable, it's crazy. Like I love comfort. I usually dress for comfort and not for fashion. And uh, I appreciate having some of that stuff in my game. And I got, I got this dress here too, which I really liked a lot. It comes in so many different swatches and prints. And I think it'd be really pretty as like a bridesmaid dress or even a really low key wedding dress if you wanted. Um, we have a little maxi here, which is of course perfect for the more warmer months. And then moving on to the tops, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, I don't know how to explain this situation. You're going to need something underneath it. Basically, it is a jacket with some fur. I like it, though. It just kind of looks weird when there's nothing under it. But uh, yeah, I got some WhatsApps and, you know, graphics, whatnots. I like this because it's super duper long and you can pair it with anything. Jeans, leggings, shorts. I don't care. You can do it. Um, here's another really fun like winter jacket by Jolie, what's her name again? I forgot, Jolie Jean, Jolie Jean. And then this set by Nolan Sims, it actually comes with a skirt and paired together, it creates a little outfit, which I think is really nice. And then you could do um, kind of like a shorter length above the belt or a longer length to kind of conceal the belt, it's just up to you. And then earlier I was telling you about the uh, cargo outfit that um, Nolan Sims, I think separated I want to say from possibly Strangerville. It looks great with jeans. I don't know. I really love like this utility style. I don't know what it is. Like I wish I could pull it off. I actually love cargo pants to be honest. Like I think they are so sexy. Um, something about like a chick dressing 
in, I don't know, like, you know, like military gear. Like, oh God, don't even get me started. But I, it looks good, okay? Let me just put like that and some, like, some boots. I wore that actually to EA Play and I was feeling myself. <laughs> just saying. Anyways, we grabbed ourselves a little cropped hoodie because, I mean, who doesn't love a good cropped hoodie as well as a good cropped sweater? These swatches are phenomenal. They are great. They're practical. I love also the little little surprise patterns here at the end. Um, we've got this top, which I actually really liked a lot. I think this is so freaking practical, especially if you're like me and you stress sweat a lot. It's not even a joke. I'm not even kidding. Okay, this would be like a freaking stress sweater's dream, all right? Because there's nothing underneath the armpits, all right? We have flowing air underneath there. It's like built-in air con or air conditioning, however you call it. So here's this cute little top with the tassels. And moving on to the bottoms, I've got these jeans that I like a lot because, I don't know, I love cropped jeans. Personally, for me, um, if, if this was me wearing them, they would be they would be pants because I'm short. But yeah, and I also grabbed these bad boys, which are some pleather pleatherette pants. I feel like I showed you these in the last showcase, if I'm not mistaken. But they're so good, you got to show them twice. So there they are. I also grabbed these shorts, which I think are really cute. Come in a few variations. Would love to see more because they're that freaking awesome. Grabbed those jeans with the little belt. Love those. And also some corduroy, corduroy options there. And what was I saying earlier, Jen, about what, bitch? What? Come through, cargo. I know. It's crazy. I love those, though. They're really cute. And then the skirt that you guys, uh, the skirt that you saw earlier. So let me just go and put it back into something because she's looking all sorts of freaking crazy over here and then I think I have some accessories so for some of the dreaded hairstyles we've got um, these little I don't know what these are called like hair hair gems or something um, to kind of dress it up a little bit and then this ring here which is a wedding set I think it's converted from the Sims 3 if I'm not mistaken um, or maybe the person created it for the Sims 3 either way I really like this it's just traditional it's low-key it's this doesn't make much of a statement. I really like that. We need more wedding rings in the game. Like, I don't understand why this why this isn't a thing. Um, and so, I think I actually have one other thing that I need to share with you guys. Just give me a second here. We've got some printed leggings that were actually supposed to come with a shirt. But, unfortunately, the shirt got taken down by the creator or something like that. So, um, I just got a bunch of different leggings. And I think these are really cool because you can wear them with a bunch of different outfits and, you know, swap them out. And, I don't know, it just kind of like adds a little bit into your collection. I grabbed these boots off of Ocean Sims Tumblr. And, I don't know, like, at first I was like, hmm, am I gonna, am I gonna use these? And then I went ahead and got them in game and I love them. I think these are really cool. And I also picked up these wedges by Nolan Sims. I am loving their shoes. Like, what is this? These combat boots are freaking everything, you guys. So, Speaking of everything, that is literally everything for the females. Let's go and move on to the males. Let's also take a moment to appreciate this in-game generated sim. He is a freaking snack. Like, what is going on? I mean, hello there. What's your name? I mean, <laughs> literally, hello. What's your name? <laughs> Anyways, let's start off with the uh, hairstyles because all the skin stuff, you've seen that already. So the other day, it's kind of funny. I was literally hounding Ocean Sims. I was like, girl, you need to, you need to tell me where... Where you got this hair for your sim brick? Like he is, he could, he could hit me with a whole brick, a whole freaking. You know what? He could cement me in the pavement, and we would be good. But I need to know where these freaking hairs came from. So she sent me the link. I was like searching for literally 45 minutes, and lo and behold, I guess I had them already. Like what is that? I don't know. Anyways, these are amazing, and you need to get these because with the right sim, y'all, you'll be pixel thirsting hard okay uh speaking of more you know textured hairstyles i got this i love this this is super cute this could also be a, a uh default if you wanted it to we've got some more of these wavy hairstyles i feel like i have so many of these but honestly when you see them on the models you're like oh my god it's so cute and hey i heard you don't don't talk crap about my little hairstyle here okay this is the bowl cut the bowl cut is actually really cute um especially paired with beanies like some of these hairs are meant to be paired with beanies like this one here and i'm telling you guys the models for these hairs Whew, super duper freaking hot. So we've got a few more of the same type of themed hairstyles and a whole bunch of different combos and variations, which are really cool too. Love those. Um, also picked up some more dreaded hairstyles for the males as well as some curly textures too. This 
this hairstyle here. I don't remember what it was called. I think like the mid mid length afro or something. I feel like this is really good for an older sim. Like Pace would probably wear this. I don't know. I like the hairline too. It's just it it has like an age to it, which I really um appreciate. I feel like we need to have more things for older sims. If you guys agree, thumbs up this video. Let me know in the comments down below. Um so yeah, pretty much we just went full circle. I did go and download um, some beards, nothing too crazy. This is actually, I think, just edited off of something he said. Oh, right here. Okay, so this is the base game, and then this is the edited version, which it looks like 20 times better. Oh, my God, that is crazy. So you can, like, see more of the lips. You got some definition in there, and then we've got oh, oh, this mustache. I don't know. Don't judge me, okay? Like, literally, when I see people with these little mustaches, I'm like, wow, like, just I'm amazed like how did you get it to like do that you know anyway <laughs> there's that <laughs> so weird um and let me see if there's anything else for the males okay we've got the same piercings and whatnot as well as uh wrinkle details so you guys can kind of see the different variations it actually looks really good on this sim it's much more subtle which is very nice so I don't have a lot to really share with you guys when it comes to like the male um, closet I do have this really fun jean jacket that has like this little fleece lining to it you can actually change the shirt underneath if you wanted to but this sweatshirt here is the bees knees I like this one it has kind of like a distressed feel to it also has this little patch which I really like um, I don't have anything for full body but I do have two pairs of pants we've got these really cool joggers I think these are from get famous but basically all of the extra like frills and like texture whatever it was like pattern um has been taken off of them and they look a little more subtle which is really nice love these for like you know lounging around gym outfits um but these are probably my favorite i love cut off shorts for guys and what i love about these is that they're distressed or they have um some sort of like marking on them some sort of like character pad like somebody drew on them so i thought those were kind of cool and then accessories, I just I have, you know, the basic stuff that I showed you earlier. And then the same old, same boots, which I actually really like these combat boots on the guy. So with that said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. I hope that you all enjoyed. And if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. This fire, I'm never